Welcome back guys. As you can see in the background here, I don't have my big inverter running and that's because yeah, something is broken. Uh, it will be fixed in short and currently I'm not running my house on solar power and I'm not even using my PIP 4048. The reason for that is because I actually haven't hooked anything into it so I can switch over to using it. So today I'm not going to hook it in in terms of to the system that I have on the side here where I can switch between the grid and everything but I need to add an outlet here, a 16 amp outlet so that I actually can at least hook up the heating in my garage to the PIP because at least something should be powered from the solar even though we don't have hardly any solar currently due to the sun, the weather and the winter but nevertheless we need to hook something in here so we actually can get power out of this PIP so that we can add up our heating system in a garage. So let's do that. So I basically found this in a box and this, this was most likely from the old PIP system that I had running. So let's hook this outlet up. So first of all we need to shut this down to make sure that we don't have any power out going. And then we need to remove this box. It's a rather simple install what I'm going to do today, so it's not a long video. Always make sure that you know what you're doing when working with this kind of electricity. I have no electricity on right now, so I will start to assemble this. I'm trying to get the outlet in place first wherever I want it and think to hooking up the neutral and the ground first. And when they are tight in place, it's time for the actual face wire itself. And that face wire is added up to the 16 amp breaker that are in the middle that aren't used currently. And then I just get the case back. Flipping this on now should potentially start this up in the Raspberry Pi. Way too much tools here right now just because of this work. So let's switch that on again. We turn that on and that on. And we have power out going to the screen and to everything here. So we're going to hook this outlet out to the heating instead and see how much power it actually draws. So I'm now plugging in an extension cord to the heater. And I will run over and start the heater as well. So we just started it up as it is around 100 watt idling. And that's because the pump itself have not started yet. So it will take a little bit of time until it actually goes and works. But I will hook up the uh, Raspberry Pi again and let's graph it somewhat. Not much video to show in this clip but still it was something that I want to share. It's rather simple to hook up an outlet like this but you need to know what you're doing for the electricity part. Nevertheless, it has been running for several days or even weeks now and the heating have been working just fine with the PIP instead. So with that said, it's actually time to repair the MPI hybrid inverter so stay tuned for next video.